What's up everybody, this is BR, and today I want to talk about Valve's relationship with modding, and overall Valve's future as a company. I want to take a step back and look at the bigger picture for a moment, especially since this is something that's been caught in the limelight because of Valve's recent actions. And by recent, I mean in the past year. Specifically having to do with their treatment of Open Fortress and Team Fortress 2 Classic. Especially on how they soft cease and desisted both projects. Which just means that they took both projects down for a moment without a legal threat. Specifically to save face for one reason or another. And this really sucks in a monumental scale because, well, Valve used to be known for supporting mods and helping creators make their own versions of Valve's IPs. In fact, if you go to Steam right now and look at the tools available, almost every single Valve game has some sort of SDK that allows you to modify the game in some way. And if for whatever reason you showed that you needed more tools than what were available, Valve would happily give you their source codes and other assets of course under NDA, in order for you to accomplish your goals. But that kind of support now just seems like a fever dream, something that happened many millennia ago. Many people are still waiting for the Source 2 SDK to be launched like Valve promised back with Half-Life Alex's release, but a lot of us know that that is never going to happen. And it's not just a big disappointment because, you know, Valve has the resources to support these modding tools, even if it was a liability. But it's also a huge disappointment because this goes against every single promise that they made when Half-Life Alex released. We were promised many things by Valve after the release of the final hours of Half-Life Alex, From better communication to more support on the VR space, or just more support in general for long-term projects, potentially ushering Valve into a silver age of sorts, all those promises were just destroyed. And we all know that they're never gonna go back on these things. It's Valve's infamous silence and, well, I no longer view Valve as this beacon of hope in the AAA gaming industry. They're just like everybody else, except, you know, they're not owned by a public company. And, well, to be fair, we all probably should have had that sentiment many years ago. Valve really is just a company, and maybe this was bound to happen some point or another. And more likely than not, they never really did truly care. If anything, it was all just self-interest. They probably saw the use of capitalizing on people who make terrific mods finding talent out there for free in order to turn a huge profit from basically nothing, supporting good ideas. But now they don't really need to do that anymore. They have an endless stream of money, so there really is a necessity to invest in any new projects or IPs. I really wonder how many projects Valve has bought out over the past 10 years and just promptly cancelled because nobody else wants to work on it. It could also very much well explain why they're so interested in hardware. It's a brand new avenue to expand Steam outside of the Windows computer. And really, don't think that Valve is just doing all of this out of the bottom of their heart. The reason why they're pushing Linux so hard with Proton is because they want to escape the bounds of the Microsoft Windows platform. The less control there is on any platform, the better it is for Valve. Being able to control a lot more of the background, and probably the reason why they're able to do this so effectively without making people question it at another second is because, well, A, they have pretty good PR, and B, they can take all the time that they need. They don't have investors breathing down their necks to do something to increase their revenue. And I'm pretty confident in me predicting that Valve is going to be dominating a section of the market sometime soon. Controlling both hardware and software in a way that we can only imagine now. Look, I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing, but it is kind of a little bit concerning. And I do hope to God that Valve really is as ethical as they make themselves out to be. Who knows what the hell they're going to do once they're on top. I mean, just look at AMD. Almost immediately as taking first place on the CPU race, they started doing some questionable things such as releasing CPUs with higher prices than usual and not focusing anywhere near the entry level. A huge split from their former 10-year personality where they really did seem like a cut above Intel, specifically working to make products that were very consumer friendly. Of course now, since they have the power, they don't have to be anymore. But I'd really like to hear from your perspective. Valve has done a lot of good for the gaming industry, even if a lot of it had to be squeezed out by other governments. But I mean, at the end of the day, Valve is a better company than other AAA studios. I mean, it's no competition. But could this be the beginning of the downward spiral? And at the moment, I'm not sure what to think. So please leave your opinion on the comment section down below. I would really love to see your perspective on this. If you found this video interesting, like it if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing, and I'll talk to you later.